example. Let me get a few other issues on the table before we uh, open things up, which is uh, China. And in particular, uh, we've had interesting public comments in recent days and weeks by the leadership of both uh, Australia and Japan about uh, Taiwan and how seriously they uh, took Taiwan's security predicament, how they were prepared to go to bat for it. And you know, here we are after Afghanistan, after what the Obama administration did and didn't do in Syria, uh, after Hong Kong, Crimea, what the previous administration did to the Kurds, now Ukraine, where we've ruled out direct defense. Why not be clear about our uh, willingness to come to Taiwan's aid if China acts aggressively uh, against it? Um, how, particularly given what we've done in Ukraine, how do we, and how do we explain why we would be prepared to help Taiwan if we're not prepared to help Ukraine? Well, I think the U.S. position when it comes to Taiwan actually is clear because it's a position that we have sustained to maintain peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait for decades. It is rooted in the One China Policy, the Taiwan Relations Act, the three communiques, and the Taiwan Relations Act is a unique instrument. We don't have it with other countries. We don't have it with Ukraine. Uh, that does talk about American commitments uh, to support uh, Taiwan in various ways. Um, but the whole purpose of American policy towards Taiwan and towards cross-strait relations is fundamentally designed to ensure that we never face a circumstance in which we need to directly answer the question that you posed. That is how we have uh, approached things in the Biden administration. And to the extent that we see China uh, diverging from the kinds of policies that could help maintain peace and stability, that, that, the, that they are taking actions that undermine peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, we will call them out. And we have called them out uh, because we believe that there is a formula that works to maintain the status quo, to not have unilateral changes to that status quo. That is what the Biden administration is pursuing. And um, we think that that is well understood um, by our partners and should be well understood in Beijing.